Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Ben from shouldigetit.com and this is the Blue Yeti microphone. And in this video, I wanna share some tips for how to get the best possible audio out of it because you might think with a microphone like this, that you should talk into the top, but that is my number one tip. The Blue Yeti has the microphone capsules on the side, so you actually don't wanna talk into the top. So do not do this. Do not talk into the top. You can hear right now that it doesn't sound good. It doesn't sound clear you want to talk into the side of this microphone. You can hear it as I'm talking into the side, it sounds really good. And the reason being is the microphones actually inside this dome are facing out to the side. That's how it does like the stereo and omnidirectional pattern. That way you can have it pick up sound from here and also from the opposite side. So if you had it on a table, you had two people on other opposite sides of it and you could get really good sound. Or if you had it recording live music then it could record all the sound around the side and it's not trying to record the sound coming from the ceiling. Right? If for some reason you want to record a ceiling fan, you'd actually want to tilt it all the way like this and have the sound from the top. So number one tip is have it on the side. Second tip is get as close to the microphone as possible and also have it at a good height for you. So as you can see right now, I'm leaning over in order to get it to sound really good. So what I recommend is if your table is too low, grab something to lift it. For instance, I have these toaster coasters here, so I'm going to place them under the stand. And now I have the microphone at a more convenient height for me. The other tip is to put it into the cardioid pattern if you're just recording yourself like a stream or a podcast or a voiceover and also make sure the gain is not too high. So I have the gain set to the lowest possible setting right now. The gain is the sensitivity of the microphone, but make sure it's high enough so that it picks you up. For instance, if I'm all the way back here, I actually do want the gain to be a little bit higher. So now that I've up the gain, I can hear myself clear at this distance if this is how far I want to be from the microphone, except now you're probably hearing some of the cars on the road outside, so I would rather turn down the gain, because you're hearing that car pass right now, I'd rather turn down the gain and talk closely to the microphone, and of course what you can do is just grab the microphone and hold it in your hand like this if you want to, and you can hear this is the best possible quality. So again, tips with the Blue Yeti. One, Talk into the side of it, not into the top. So you wanna be talking to the side. Two, set your gain properly so that it's not overly sensitive, but it's sensitive enough to pick you up if you are further from the microphone. Three, have it set to the cardioid pattern if you are just recording yourself. And the fourth tip, modulate your voice. No matter what microphone you're using, you can control how loudly you speak, how much you enunciate your words, and also how much you speak from the diaphragm, right? So I could talk really loudly like this in a really high voice, or I could talk from the diaphragm and have it come out from my chest, and that's just something you have to practice. So that is a couple of tips for using the Blue Yeti microphone. If you have any questions, leave them in a comment below, and I'll answer them soon.